We just launched into a game at Mahjong time. In this strategy theory session, we're going to be playing American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. If you haven't played at Mahjong time yet and you want to give it a try, look for my email in the video description below. I can send you information about that VIP trial. Let's see what we have to play with. No flowers, no jokers, and that's okay. We have a pair of six bands, three, four, five, eight, and cracks, singles, one, two, three, and dots, pair of threes, green dragon, north and east, pairs of threes, pairs of sixes, that screams a three, six, nine hand. We do have a gap, no nine, but that's okay. We may pick one up in the Charleston. So let's keep the green dragon. We might be able to use that. We do have tiles in here that we can pass. Let's do 258. The reason I'm keeping the northeast is in case we get potential for like numbers. Here's a three, which we should have kept instead of that one. Three, six, three, six, nine is what we're focused on. There's a nine. So now we have no gaps with a three, six, nine. Not a particular hand, but the category overall. We have each tile represented, which is important, especially for three, six, nine, because you only have three tiles to work with. Since we did pick up the nine, I think we could go ahead and discard the green dragon. We still could maybe play like numbers with threes and news. Let's see if we get more wins. We got an east and a three bam and a six, so I would let go of the wins at this point. We have a pung of sixes now. And the east we don't need because the like number hand in the win category has singles of east and west. So here we have three, six, three, three, nine. I really don't like passing two wins. For three, six, nine, we probably should keep the nine crack for sure because we need a representation there. Let's let, hmm. Let's pass a wind, actually. I'm going to risk it because there are a couple hands we could play here with these tiles. Let's just keep the 369. Here we did get like numbers. We want to keep going. Like numbers. They're the, not the right suit around the 6. So I don't think I would keep them, but I wouldn't pass them. I don't like passing like numbers. Really, really don't like passing like numbers. Okay, so three, six, nine. Hmm. Three, six, nine. I'm kind of thinking maybe the three crack can go. Because if we do get flowers, we could maybe play the mix suit hand, second hand on the right. We could also, okay, we didn't get any keepers, which is fine. We could pass seven, four, one. Actually, let's let a wind go here. Let's keep the seven and let the one go. That way we have two seven east for the next pass. In case we get everything we want, that would be a really safe pass. We got a three dot. All right, now we have two pungs. So let's do two seven east. Oh, it doesn't really matter. North, it doesn't really matter. Three, three dot here. Oops, three, three. We got a three nine. Three and nine. This looks a lot like that second hand from the bottom. Under three six nine, we need flowers and we'd have to let a six bam go. They want three tiles. We have this nine crack. We, we kind of need that. I would pass two. We don't know which of these players is playing wins. Somebody's playing wins. So let's keep, let's keep one. Three, six, nine. Three, six, nine. We got the nine. Here would be really helpful to get a flower. Sound We're going to let these wins go right in, right away. If people are not playing wins, they go down very quick. First round of discards. They may be playing the wins. Let's see if this player discards a wind. 
Oh, they didn't discard a wind either, and I just gave them a west. So these two players on the right and across, they could be playing winds. We're going to let these winds go first. One bamboo. Bye. Hesitation. Despair slide. They may give up on the winds now. Nope, not giving up. Well, they may. There goes the west. So the player on our right, maybe they just don't have any winds. All these winds going down. Okay, they may not have winds. All right, let's focus now. If a three dot and six bam are discarded, I think we should calm. Even though we have a gap, we need three flowers, and we can use jokers for those. The six bam is a pum, so we don't want to accidentally calm that. Now, we can still keep in mind the second hand from the bottom. Either way, we can calm the three dot. We need to con the nine, so we're weak there, and of course we need flowers. Either way, we need flowers if we play one of those two hands. Let's see if there's something else we can do. If we get nine dots, we could maybe play the third hand from the bottom. Here's a seven. We have six, seven, but we've got multiples with threes, so let's let that go. Seven bamboos. Two dots. Eight dots. Pung. Two dots. Five three, six, nine is a challenging category. You only have three numbers to work with. We do have Eight really good dots. representation, though. Oh, there's a nine. Okay. Five, so three, here we need to make five, a decision three, very soon. We have three, six, nine, nine and bamboos. one suit, all multiples. And we have a a pung of threes. We have no flowers. Flower. I think that six crack can go. West wind. I think the six crack can go unless we were to switch to three, six, 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 six nine bams and cracks. That would be the first Seven hand, bamboos. but our six crack is very weak. Two bamboos. Eight bam can go. Eight bamboos. We're not ready to, when actually we are ready to pung the three and nine if we play the second hand from the bottom, but I would not commit to that hand unless I had at least one flower. Two characters. We don't have any flowers, and there's a flower. So now let's let this six crack go, and six to characters. leverage all the multiples, I think I would go ahead and play three, six, nine with flowers, second hand from the bottom. We can pung the three and the nine. We could even One calm dot. the three dot. We'd have to discard a six bam. East wind. And of course we need another flower. But we have no Green gaps dragon. and we're ready to call tiles. Every block in the hand can nine be called. Characters. That's the definition of being set. We can claim a discard to complete every block. Eight we're not ready to win, but we're getting close. We're set. We're Eight set up to win. Bamboos. That's basically where that idea came from North with wind. the term set. Some people say set is ready to win, but I don't. Set is when you can, just to reiterate, claim a discard for every block for the hand you're playing. That's called set. You're set up for success. Being ready to win being ready when is when you're win. one away. You, you, you need just one more tile. So now nine we characters. have a joker, which is going to be helpful. Nobody wanted the nine crack. So we have two discards right now. We're ready to call for exposures. We need a flower. One, one was discarded and nobody wanted it. There's our first pung. So we're going to pung. Hmm. And now we're going to just, here's something that I've been testing. We're going to distance ourselves from 369 by discarding a 6 bam. And we're going to do it now as opposed to later. 
one of the th things too that I've been thinking about is when someone makes an exposure, their discard, especially in the middle game, after that exposure can give you information about what they may be playing. So because I discarded that six bam, I could either be playing three, six, nine or something consecutive, maybe three, four, five, six. So it, for example, all my unwanted tiles were discarded in the early game and I'm holding tiles I may use. So that six may have been useful to me with the three. So by discarding that six, others can probably assume we're not playing odds because the six was a keeper at some point. That's the theory. And if you are close to a winning hand, you might want to distance yourself from obvious tiles. So here we're going to Pung, and now they're going to know what we're playing. With Pungs of threes and nines, I think there's only one hand this can be. And that's that second hand from Seven the bottom. Characters. We are ready to win on a flower since we have a joker. And we do have potential for a pure hand also. Since they know what we want, they know what we need here. So I would push for a pure hand if a three One dot goes character. down. Because they know what we need either way. Seven and everybody's going to probably be very mindful of flowers. Only Five one has characters. been discarded. The player on our left doesn't need flowers. They, they discarded it unless they Three switch their game. hand. Sometimes if somebody Five has a clear characters. hand and you need to switch your hand to play more defensively, for example, keeping flowers, Five with only one exposure, these players can switch and try to utilize flowers in order to not discard them. So just because they discarded one doesn't mean they can change they they can still change their mind once you have two exposures typically you don't have that kind of flexibility so we need we need a flower we may have to pick it This may be a risky tile. Red dragon. Nope. Sometimes when people hesitate in the end game, they're thinking, oh, do I really want to discard this? And that's sometimes the reason for the hesitation. Which makes anyone who's ready to win hopeful. One bamboo. We need a flower. Four characters. Six bam, we already let go. Six bamboos. Three more picks. Nine characters. That was a good safe tile. Four dots. We need a flower. Oh, three bam, we already have that. Three bamboos. Two more picks. Red I doubt anyone's going to discard a flower at this Green point. Characters. Only one has been discarded. It would be extremely Mahjong. risky. Oh, wow. We have people keeping flowers. Okay, we're going to take a peek at what everyone's doing. They didn't need flowers. Oh, I wish they had drawn a flower. So here we have 369, first hand, Pung Pung Kong Kong. I want to... <laughs> they changed their, their hand three times. Very nice. Uh, so let's see. Next, we have over here two flowers. Concealed hand. They were one away. One away from ready. They needed a five crack or a nine dot. So they had one discard, and it was a risky tile. White dragon, none are out. They're over here. And I think this player switched to defense. Because they have three, five, six, they were playing two, four, six, eight. The twos went down. They probably were playing two, four, six, eight with dragons and started getting flowers. And then the twos went down, so they probably switched to defense. So we have, let's see, were there any flowers in the wall still? Where's the wall? Let's go back over here. Two more picks. 
Okay, so we have three, four, five, six. There were two flowers in the wall. Wow. Well, that was fun anyway. Whether you win or lose, you learn. That's a shout out to Nelson Mandela. That's his quote. I didn't make that up. I never lose. I either win or learn. Nelson Mandela. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get a notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers. <laughs>